Hi, GIS class. Um, a lot of you for your independent projects are going to be using um, DEMs or digital elevation models, or you might need to get some other data from Earth Explorer. So I'm going to show you really quickly how you get um, how you get uh, digital elevation model data from Earth Explorer. So I'm going to go to Earth Explorer. Uh, so it's just earthexplorer.usgs.gov, and this is a great um, this is a great place to get um, a lot of different um, data sets of all kinds of GIS data. Um, okay, so let's say uh, I want to find um, information on, um, I want to get a DEM, like the ones we were using in our in our labs, uh, for, you know, an area of Colorado. So let's say I zoom in here. And let's say I'm interested in, um, you know, the area around Crested Butte, Colorado. So I go over here, I you know, you have to know where it is on the map and you kind of zoom in. And so let's say here's Crested Butte. Let's say I'm interested in this, this valley north of Crested Butte, the East River Valley. So um, what you can do is over here, you can go to search criteria and you can, uh, I think the easiest way to do this is to use coordinates. So I'm gonna use map and I'm gonna use a polygon here. So use map, oops. And um, you have to clear that. And I'm just gonna put points in around where I want my area of interest. So let's say I put a point here uh, and here and here and here. So roughly, you know, this area around Crested Butte. Um, and then you're gonna go to data sets. So click the data sets button. And you see there's lots of different stuff here, right? You can get aerial imagery, uh, the different satellite data, uh, digital line graphs are sort of um, uh, basically scanned uh, topographic maps, uh, all sorts of stuff. You get land cover, um, all sorts of things, so you can you can you can go through and see. But if you want the kind of DEM we were using in our in our labs, like in the raster lab in QGIS, uh, you go here under digital elevation, and then under here on SRTM. Um, and what I would do is just use the uh, SRTM one arc second global. What that's going to give you is um, thir about 30 meter by 30 meter resolution. So the pixels are going to be about 30 meters. Remember, an arc second is a is a a, a sphere-based uh, angular measurement. So it varies with latitude, but on in general, it's about 30 meters per cell in your raster. And the raster cells from this data set are about one degree of latitude and one degree of longitude. So uh, we'll do that. So I've selected that there. And then you go to results. And it's going to show me, so for the polygon I've selected, I've got two different rasters here. Uh, and if you click on this little foot, it shows you the footprint. So again, one degree by one degree, Here's one of those images right here in purple. Um, and then the other one over here, again, one degree by one degree is sort of to the west. So if I zoom in on my area of interest, you see it kind of spans two of these uh, rasters. Um, now let's say I, I zoom in here and I, I really don't need this slice on the, on the left, uh, on the west. I was, I was careless. I don't need to download that. If I do really need both of these, if I'm interested in that area, then I need to download both and create, you know, I can merge them together in, in QGIS or, or clip them or whatever. Anyway, so if you want to download it, so let's say I want to download this one on the east, just click this download options, and then it's going to give you, you have to log in, you have to create a free account here, but you can log in and then it, you see you can get the file as a BIL, a DTED, or a GeoTIFF. I would recommend when working with, um, when working with DEMs, digital elevation models, uh, GeoTIFF is probably the, the option you want to use. But anyway, that's Earth Explorer, and so you can download this and pull it into QGIS. Um, lots of great information there, so if you need anything for your final projects or in the future, um, check it out.